For family law attorneys with two to three years experience, I can appreciate the circumstance they're in. They've still got a lot of energy, still coming out of law school, anxious to prove themselves. They've got a lot of passion for the work that they do, helping people through transition to better lives. Um, and they're really, and they've hit the ground running. They kind of got the lay of the land. They understand the, some of the ways in which these, this works. Um, but yet they still got loans and they still need to find that professional home to really allow them to make their uh, careers, make the reputation that they want and take their, uh, their work in a certain direction. A lot of the uh, associate attorneys in this few years of experience range um, that I talk to are beset by a number of perplexing circumstances, so to speak. Um, they aren't being paid what they deserve because they put in a lot of hard work. They've done a lot more learning than maybe their employer gives them credit for, and they're still um, not getting the recognition in the paycheck that they should. And their overall comp structure is usually pretty bad, um, where they, um, when there's times when they've had a really good month or a really good quarter, their, their compensation's the same, there's no extra recognition. Um, and that's just financially, but then there's also a lack of recognition in the workplace. A lot of attorneys that have practices are just attorneys that started businesses because they thought about doing it, not because they're necessarily good at running a business or managing people. And so there's an underappreciation involved. And in fact, sometimes the, the entire workplace can be um, problematic, whether it's drama or toxicity, or you just have these attorneys that aren't business people trying to manage people. Um, and overall, it's not the exciting, comfortable, um, pleasant, even neutral places to work. Um, and it doesn't really excite anybody. Um, that's what I hear. And the, one of the other things that comes into play is also um, just the satisfying, the, the nature of the casework. Sometimes some law firms are a little too accustomed to treating clients as numbers um, or just allowing anybody to hire them regardless of how viable their cases are. And that can make for really draining, negative work environment um, for attorneys in particular. Um, and some of these attorneys in these practices are doing way more than just practicing law. They're filing, they're doing collections, they're answering the phones, office supplies, um, a bunch of stuff that isn't the practice of law, the reason you went to law school. Um, and these are the circumstances where they know that their kind of current employment is not gonna be the professional home. They're not gonna have like the support of their coworkers, their other peers, the other attorneys in the firm, or their boss to really grow to learn, to be supported, to be um, given permission to take on greater responsibility, take on more complex matters. Um, and with that then, there, this circumstance or circumstances that they're beset with is not viable for them. Um, as the founder of Atticus Family Law, I've got 21 years of family law experience, but also, like, I studied economics, I did, I studied at St. Mary's for a master's in management. Like, I'm very much a business person that happens to be um, a lawyer with two year, decades of experience that's specifically running a law firm. And um, with that, then we turned around and designed each of our positions to work well with one another, but that includes that of our associate attorney for these people with just a few years of experience um, looking to develop and take their careers to where they wanna go so that our positions are designed for the people in that circumstance. And the reason for this is simply this, which is I know that for my goals, I can't accomplish all of what I wanna accomplish um, without my staff being content, without them being happy, their needs being met, if they got to be distracted by other things, then they're not going to be doing the things that um, we need them to do, that they want to do, and yet um, 
and to a certain extent, we need to have this alignment. Um, and so if I can build the position that suits uh, the needs of these associate attorneys, then I could turn around and know that them being happy doing the things that they want and uh, they need can turn around and serve my needs. And so we've got this sort of rising tide that floats all boats. And then I can turn around and share with them my two decades of experience, plus all the other things that we've done to turn around and go beyond my experience and still raise the bar. Um, if these sort of things interest you in regards to the professional home that you need for your career and establishing your future to fulfilling the promise that you made to yourself when you went to law school, you took on the loans um, and you made the commitment, um, then first step is check out our website and you start seeing some of the difference between Atticus Family Law versus average law firms start seeing that we don't do things the, the same way that they've been doing law for 70 years. Um, next, um, apply, find the link below. Um, let's start interviewing. And then third, um, just feel good about pursuing and um, really pushing yourself to pursue that degree that, um, not that degree, but like the career that you really wanted to, that, um, and that's going to be lead to that bright future and fortunately avoid that fate that you despair that keeps you up at night um, nobody wants that circumstance of being five or ten years into your career and regretting um, and not knowing how you got there and that this is never what you wanted um, that's nothing i want for anybody but um, that's certainly part of what we're turning around and trying to make in regards to a successful law firm that does some really great work for clients. Um, so check out the link below. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks.